Taran tan tan taran tan tan tan. Natural Science Class with Teacher Fernando. In this video, we are going to learn about aquatic and artificial ecosystems. An aquatic ecosystem is an ecosystem in a surrounded area of water. They can be marine and freshwater, like this one. On the marine ecosystems, we can differentiate the shoreline, the coral reef and the open ocean. The shoreline is the place where sea and land meet. Marine animals such as crab adapt well to tides and waves. Also seals, like this one, rest on the shoreline. Coral reefs grow in warm and shallow water. They need a lot of sunlight. Coral reefs, like those ones, are home to sea urchins, starfish, lobster, clownfish and many other marine animals. The last one of the marine ecosystems is the open ocean. It is the largest ecosystem on Earth. It is home to whales, dolphins and many other type of fish. It also includes seaweeds and phytoplankton. Moving on to freshwater ecosystems, we have rivers and streams, lakes and ponds and wetlands. Rivers and streams are natural flowing water, so the water is moving. Flowing water is home to animals such as crocodiles, fish and turtles, and plants such as water lilies and mosses, as you can see in this image. On the other hand, we have lakes and ponds. They are standing water, so the water does not flow as in rivers. They can be natural or artificial. Standing water is home to ducks, fish, many insects like mosquitoes and amphibians such as frogs. And the last type are wetlands. They are areas where standing fresh water covers the soil most of the year. Wetlands have a very rich biodiversity. They are home to a large number of bird species, such as pelicans or flamingos. During the dry season of the year, wetlands usually don't have much water. And now let's move on to artificial ecosystems. Humans create artificial ecosystems to imitate a natural ecosystem, so they are non-natural environments. Artificial ecosystems can be terrestrial, marine or urban ecosystems. On the artificial terrestrial ecosystems are included zoos, farmlands, greenhouses, parks and gardens. We can see here a zoo, this is a greenhouse and this is a park with the garden. They allow us to domesticate animals and to grow more food, for example in farmlands, or grow and take care of different species of animals. For example, we can do that on the zoos. The artificial aquatic ecosystems include aquariums, ponds and fish farms. They allow us to raise fish, like in these fish farms, or make our cities more attractive with ponds and aquariums. And last, artificial urban ecosystems. They usually contain both natural and artificial elements. Cities are examples of urban ecosystems and they contain half of the world's population. 
they are home to dogs and cats, rats and birds, also plants such as tulips, lavender or basil, for example. So, in summary, we can say that we have aquatic and artificial ecosystem and in the artificial ecosystems we have the same as the naturals, as humans try to imitate here the natural environment. So, in the artificial ecosystem we have terrestrial, aquatic and also the last type which are urban usually contain both terrestrial and aquatic. On the other hand, aquatic ecosystems, we can divide them into marine or freshwater. The marine ecosystems, we can classify them on coral reefs, shore line, which is the place where sea and land meet, and the open ocean. And the freshwater ecosystems include the ones that have flowing water and the standing water. For example, in flowing water we have rivers and on standing water we have lakes and ponds. That was all for this video, I hope you liked it and see you in the next one. Bye all!